Tim the Blacksmith, welcome here everybody. It's great to have you here. So today we're picking up another project out of this piece of titanium. Uh, last video I made a titanium hammer and this week we're gonna be attempting to make a Bowie knife out of this chunk of titanium. Just wanna quickly mention, and they're not paying me to say this, that I got this piece of titanium from a company called Sacken Metals. I'm gonna put their link in the description below. So if you are looking for titanium for your projects, highly recommend that you check them out because they've got great prices on titanium. Before we start anything else, I'm gonna quickly get some paper out and figure out my design of what I want. And then we're gonna cut this thing off and uh, start the forge up and see what we can do. So no further ado, welcome here and uh, looking forward to seeing this project through to the end. Here we go. Titanium Bowie. So I've just finished drawing this up, left it a little bit sketchy playing with a couple different things. So it's pretty big. I figured I want to be on the big side, but lighter than typical, if that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to utilize the titanium for the lightness, right? I don't know what's called upper fin type of thing here. I'm loving that. And then this shape here, it's maybe just a little bit longer than I'm thinking it needs to be. What I thought might be kind of interesting is if this we had this big kind of jump in the handle here so that your your two fingers would ride around it and then your thumb would lock in onto the guard so you'd be handling the knife like that and then these two fingers would just be for the control of it so that's what i'm kind of thinking with that notch and then i thought visually this here really mirrors that so it sort of brings a little bit of symmetricalness to it which i think is super cool and then starting to look at colors maybe going with uh i'm starting to lean towards maybe like just an etched finish on the titanium and then like a black guard and black handle with maybe just like a really thin line of some kind of color like copper or brass or something like that. Sort of what's going on in my head. So I'm gonna leave the, the drawing of that there. If we can end up with something like this at the end, we're gonna be pretty happy. I'll be happy. I'm probably not gonna forge it too close because I wanna make sure I don't get into any trouble of having hammer marks in there and stuff, but uh, we'll definitely forge it out and see how it goes, so. Time to stop talking and start forging. Here we go. second heat to see what happens. This is kind of weird, but hopefully it'll all work itself out.
So I still got some crack stuff going on in there. I'm gonna go grind it again and uh, relook at this one more time. It's really, really weird. You've seen my hammer and the ax video forging titanium. I didn't have any of these issues. So it's really bizarre to me. The hammer came out of this exact same piece of titanium, so I'm not sure what's going on. So I've ground this thing again, and I'm gonna try forging it one more time. Okay, so here's the piece of titanium, and uh, it's clean, there's no cracks in it. I'm guessing what was going on is that the power hammer just didn't have enough power to compress it this way, and it was developing cracks. It's typically what you see when you work really thin material, it starts to fatigue like that, but not usually on this size. But anyways, a little bit weird. So I'm gonna put this in the forge now and try to do some hand forge on it. If I see any cracks at all, I'm gonna shut it down, and then we're gonna have to do stock removal, which is not what I was hoping to do. Not looking forward to having to grind this whole thing. So let's really hope the forging works for the handwork. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking, start forging. Here we go.
right, morning time. Let's see what this thing looks like here. Mm. So you can see how rough I left the forging in here. I'm just gonna grind this all back, flatten it out. What a weird color too, hey? Interesting. And then uh, I'll grind it and then we'll go back to the forge and start smoothing it up a little bit more, get it straight and stuff. But uh, there's definitely no cracks in it right now. So that's the important part and we're gonna keep it that way. Let's get that grinder set up and do some grinding. So I've just finished the uh, first really rough grinding. I'm just gonna check it on the drawing here just to see where my material's at. And then we're gonna stick it back in the forge and do a little bit more. Okay. Gotten it pretty straight here. I'm gonna just let this cool off and I'll start grinding it. Okay, so I just got back from town and I got some goodies to help make this grinding go a little better. I got a ceramic flap disc. I didn't know they made these, but that should help uh, with the titanium. And then I also got some new belts for the belt sander. So I got a special type of ceramic 35 grit that's supposed to chew through titanium better. This is aluminum oxide and this is like ceramic, super coarse. Anyways, that's gonna help us out quite a lot. I'm just gonna grab the blade. Here it is all cooled off. So I'm just gonna rough it in with the angle grinder first see how this works and then uh, we'll go to the belt sander and start profiling. I wanted to forge originally the tang in it and everything. Just with the trouble of forging it I decided to abandon that. We're just going to grind it or cut it out. Let's do this thing. Right, finally it's belt sander. Gonna just start profiling this guy with this new 36 ceramic belt. Let's see how it does.
we've just got it profiled here, or almost profiled, seeing how it fits onto the drawing. Really happy with how that ceramic belt is performing. I'm running it less than half speed, but it still cuts super good. Apparently running at a slower speed keeps the belt longer when you're grinding titanium. So a little bit lost in the tip here for my um, profiling shape, but I still like the way it looks. And then I got lots to clean up here, but at this point now I'm gonna start taking the tops, or sorry, the sides down and get this in uh, thickness how I want it. Pretty sweet that uh, I'm looking at about 3 8 material almost all the way through, so we got lots of material to work with, so that's good. So back to the belt sander. since we talked because I just turned the camera off and started grinding on this guy. So I'll show you where we're at. So I've been successful in grinding this flat and parallel. There were some really big hammer dings that I had to just fight to get out. Um, so this is clean and parallel. I've just got this one little nick here. This is still forged texture and actually right up here, but that'll all come out when I start beveling. And I am super happy that I did not forge any thinner than I did because we're ending up already. That's like 300 thou, so that's about 5 sixteenths. So it's actually really good. I'm really happy with that. And then I've also started to taper it. So it tapers from here up to this point here, this little peak. And I am super happy with the taper. It looks super clean, really good, starting about here to there. And um, at this point now, I got to do a little bit of cleanup work on this top line. It's not quite straight to the bottom. And then I, of course, have to increase the shoulder, clean that up. And I'm also going to reduce the size of the tang just because I've lost a lot of that shoulder there. I want a little bit more of a shoulder. So I do that and then, of course, start into the beveling. So I have used up four 36 grit ceramic belts just to get this blade here. How many more belts do you think it's going to take to get this thing finished? Let me know in the comments below. We'll make it a guessing game. I have no idea. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this video right here and pick it up in part two, just because this took so much time to get it to here. I know we're not super far along, so my apologies to that. But uh, I look forward to having you back for the second part to get this thing all ground up and then looking forward to putting the handle on it. Really looking forward to that. Again, thank you so much for watching. It's always great to have you here. And I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, like this video. Maybe check out some of my other videos. And we will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great one. See ya.